absolutely love the first three seasons of Cheers, but I feel like season four is where it really kind of comes into its own. By this point, we are familiar with most of the characters. There's no more needing to set up. But we do have a new character making things a little bit fresh and some pretty interesting plot points. So there will be spoilers in this. I'm not going to go through every single episode like I've done when I've discussed seasons one to three. I have, however, plucked out specific plot points that I thought were very interesting, um, character actions that I really liked, maybe a few things that I wasn't that fussed about. So I will be going into detail about what happens in this season. So if you haven't watched it, watched season four yet, um, please watch it, then come back and please do feel free to share all of your views because I'd love to discuss discuss these episodes of the characters. There are a few things that I'm very excited about with season four. Um, but the first thing, as I said, spoilers, the first thing we need to address is Coach's death. I, I, well, I didn't see that coming. Obviously, because I've only watched this last year for the first time, um, I wasn't obviously alive. I wasn't alive when this first aired. So I wasn't aware of, of the actor's death. But it was difficult. But I, I think the way they handled it was very, very clever and very, very delicately done. Obviously, they didn't. the news wasn't broken to the cast or to the characters in the show. They already knew before the season started. And I thought that was a nice way to not start on a on a depressing note. I think they handled it very well. The other thing that, um, well, a few other things that we need to discuss. First of all, we find out that Diane jilted Frasier at the altar. Now, I watched Frasier before I watched Cheers. And Frasier often goes on about how Diane left him at the altar. I did not think it would have been this early on in Cheers when Diane and Frasier first started to date. I figured that, well, realistically, I figured that they would have she would have left him at the very end, which would have been seven seasons down the line, which now that I've seen it all seems ludicrous. But I just hadn't expected it to be this soon. And then for Fraser to continue to be in the rest of Cheers, I wasn't sure how he would fit in if he wasn't just part of Diane's life. But obviously having watched the entire show, he obviously fits in very well and becomes a very prominent part. And I, I love him dearly. Diane is obviously now in a convent and she's even annoying the nuns by boring them and it's it's an interesting look at Diane as a character but I like the way she progresses throughout this season. While it's still a little bit of the whole Sam and Diane show, will they, won't they, we do get to see both of them dating other people and it gives us an interesting look at their relationship and why Diane may have truly jilted Fraser. Sam obviously begins quite a prominent relationship in this season with um, Janet Elridge, who's the counsellor, I believe. And I didn't really like her. I got the impression that she wasn't ever going to be a permanent character in this. I was a little worried that I would be wrong about that. But personally, while I like what the character did, um, she's played by Kate Mulgrew, very well acted, visually looks the part. She's exactly what I would have envisioned if I'd read a character description. Um, while I like kind of what she did in order to bring the series or the season to its pretty dramatic end, and I'm not going to spoil what happens at the beginning of season five if you haven't seen that yet, uh, the character I just wasn't that bothered about. So the final two big things that need to be mentioned, the first one is that we have Woody Boyd, uh, Woody Harrelson plays Woody, we get to meet Woody for the first time. He comes in looking for coach, and that's how, obviously, I'm assuming you've seen the season, otherwise I'm spoiling a lot for you. That's how we find out that coach is no longer there, which is awful. But, you know, Woody is an absolutely fantastic character. I love Woody. I There are th certain things about his character development over the seasons that follow that I wasn't... You know, I think some of the decisions they made were not the best, and I think he was at a, at a disadvantage quite a lot. But as a character, I love him. I think Woody Harrelson just brought something magical to this show. And Woody as a character is just so fabulous. Often the butt of humour, but actually often generating that humour as well. Especially as he kind of grew as a character. I, I really loved him. And then the other big thing, obviously at the end of the season, the very last episode, Sam proposes 
over the phone to dot dot dot. We kind of assume he's either proposing to his new fancy woman or um or he's proposing to Diane. And I'll be honest, I watched that and then immediately watched the first episode of season five. I could not wait. So I don't know what that would have felt like to watch it when it was broadcast, having to wait up to a year, maybe, for the next episode. It would have killed me. So it's a, as far as season finales go, the fact that it ended on a cliffhanger was pretty dramatic. They must have known at that point that they were being commissioned for a fifth season. And thank goodness they were. So there are some other things that I really loved about season four that I just want to kind of go over really quickly. And I'd love to know if these are things that you like, things that stood out for you. Or if I'm just loving the bits that are maybe less important. So first up, I do feel like there's not not really very much of Carla in season four. We get to, She goes to the dance and obviously we get to see more of Nick Tortelli. We get to see her son Anthony. We do get to know a little bit more about her family. But in terms of having significant episodes for her character development, I didn't think there was very much. That's not necessarily a bad thing because I love Carla no matter what. But I feel like Carla was underplayed in this season. Something I did particularly like was when Diane bought that $500 copy of an Ernest Hemingway novel and Sam got it drenched and we just have this big, fat, fluffy, wet book. Honestly, I if that had been me, because I am, unfortunately, more like Diane than any of the other characters, if that had been my book that I'd paid, first of all, I would never pay $500 for a book. But if I had, I would have been livid. Uh, It was um, pretty dramatic in an episode that I really liked. One that I still think of now, and I think of this episode a lot, is the one where Norm suspected Vera of having an affair. Because Norm is my favourite character, that's no secret. Norm! And when that happened, my heart broke a little bit. And I really rooted for him to do the right thing. I really, really needed him to take the right action and not retaliate in the way that he could have done. So I was really thrilled with the outcome of that. And just Norm as a character, I love him. And that just proved to me that he is just such a good person and I'm right to love him. We have the first competition with Gary's Old Town Tavern. I've never been that bothered about those competitions, but actually, in the last few seasons when they have the competitions, it gets quite intense. Um, So that gets better, it goes on. So if you've only seen up to season four... I will say that competition gets pretty hectic. One thing that upset me actually is we get to meet Cliff's father and obviously he's not a very, a very nice person. But I genuinely had hopes for him. I thought everything would be fine. Quite dramatic. A little bit of an odd one to be honest because that's not what I would have expected for Cliff's father but it was a nice Really probably one of the first times that we got to see Cliff as a character kind of coming out of a shell and being a bit more vulnerable rather than just somebody who never stops talking. So I I liked the episode in that way, but it's not what I would have wanted for the character. Sam auctioning his baseball jersey. I love that one. I hated to see Sam kind of in pain when he was realising it wasn't really getting many bids. Diane's involvement in this I thought was great and we were really kind of still seeing the feelings that existed. I think that was a really nice little plot device. I love the Red Sox. I am planning on going to Fenway Park as soon as this stupid virus is over and we can travel internationally again. I'm very tempted to get a jersey. I just really enjoyed that episode quite a lot. Fraser is having some issues and he doesn't really want to practice psychiatry. Obviously, we know from Fraser, the TV show, that he does continue. But we get to meet Dr. Sternen. We get to meet Lilith. And it really kills me that I can't tell you more about Lilith's character without spoiling anything. I refuse to spoil season five onwards, just in case you haven't gone that far yet. I love Lilith. I love Bibi Newirth. She's one of my favourite characters. And... I can't wait to talk about her more when I review the other seasons. I won't say any more, but I love her. And the last thing is something that I thought was so ludicrous. And that's when they were flying the jet. And the pilot was apparently dead. And yeah, that was insane. 
it was a really nice moment because it put them together especially Sam and Diane at the point where they thought they were going to die and it kind of showed what they meant to each other really when they were their most vulnerable and I thought it was a nice way to bring that all together but it was a little over the top not a bad thing just a little bit dramatic so in all, we have a lot of memorable aspects of season four. When I think of, you know, scenes that I've enjoyed or plot devices that I've really liked, a lot of them come from season four, and I'm really happy with this episode. And as I said, this is kind of where it starts to become the amazing cheers. Beforehand, it was enjoyable, it was nice. But season four onwards is where it really comes into its own. And honestly, I I've never looked back. I absolutely love it. If you've only seen up to season four, please continue watching the show because it just gets better and better. If you haven't seen, seen season four, I'm sorry I've spoiled a lot of this for you, but give it a go. I love it and I just can't wait to talk about Lilith Sterling. <laughs>